Hello. Well, today I'm continuing with my um, uh, Godfather trilogy discussion, where particularly I talk about what I my own experience is with uh, experiencing the Godfather films, each one individually. And so, you know, today's part two. Last time, uh, I did a over 20 minute video about the first one. I kind of want this to be shorter, uh, but I know every time I say that it never is. But uh, again, you know, what can I say about Godfather 2? It's been hailed as one of the greatest sequels ever made, uh, and I think rightfully so. It ranks up with Empire Strikes Back and um, the, the Dark and uh, Dark Knight as the best, one of the best, you know, sequels ever made. Um, one of the best follow-ups, and I can definitely see that and understand. Um, uh, I just want to probably just say how I really like how the transformation of Michael Corleone was in uh, The Godfather. And I just love how we continue with that story. It just continues to unfold. Um, we see how this changed demeanor in his personality continues to go on. You know, he's more, even a bit more cold than the last one. Um, uh, but he's still very loving. He loves his family. Um, which is something that's quite big and, and prominent, how he, as to what happens towards the end of the film. Um, so spoilers to everybody who has never seen this. Um, I'm presuming you have seen this trilogy. Um, but, you know, he, uh, at the end, he loses his family. Cage, she wants to get out of a, you know, she wants to, you know, leave him, and she also had an abortion, which was a big no-no for him, obviously, that was not something he uh, liked, or, nor uh, approved of when he found out what happened, because before it's revealed, that's what happened. He believed it was a miscarriage, and um, yeah, it's yes, it's 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 just it's a, the, how everything plays out. It's, it's just so it's just wow. That's like the only thing I can say. It's wow. Um side of that um you know there's new characters you know Hyman Roth played by Lee Strasberg and um, there's some other characters in here but he's a real prominent one you know he tries to get uh, uh Michael killed and uh In doing so, uh, we find out some things as to what happened to that, uh, to get there, and um, find out uh, his brother Fredo, Michael's brother Fredo, was involved in some way. We don't know what he told him. He doesn't know what sort of compensation he was promised. We don't know what it was other than he was offered something for himself to make, because, you know, He's upset that, you know, uh, he was passed over for being, you know, head of a family. You know, Michael is the youngest son. Uh, Fredo is older than him. Uh, Sonny was the oldest, and he was in charge when their father was shot in the first film, out of commission for a while. Mm. Excuse me. 
but um, yeah, he it just you know he just you know Fredo is the kind of character who should really keep, have kept his mouth shut. He's sort of like people. There are people who should just keep their mouth shut and. But, you know, when they hear something that sounds beneficial to them or sounds good or whatever it is, they start to talk. And they talk about stuff that, in hindsight, they should have kept their mouth shut. You know, we don't know what exactly, again, he says. But it's, you know, from the movie, because of. Uh, uh, some stuff Fredo said he was uh, in a way integral as to how to attempt to kill Michael um, you know and Michael got his uh, his wife out of a bed to, and protected her uh, as to not of her hurt, and uh, yeah, that just so many things happen, and then has to go to the Senate, uh, being indicted, and all that. There's so much going on, like with the business, because he wants it to be legitimate, and it's like family business, and you know, he's pretty much getting there and everything, but you know legalities and stuff happen as to, you know, is this, you know, you know, just having details, having to be ironed out, and unfortunately he has to head in for him in the Senate, but, you know, he beats it. Uh, uh, no surprise there, really. Um, but another thing with this film that's interesting and is just as engaging with the Michael story is seeing Vito Corleone and his rise to power starting off in Italy where he's a kid his uh, family is <clears throat> basically uh, his uh, family is basically uh, siblings of other you know the dead uh, uh, from a big uh, head guy in uh, in uh, yeah Italy yeah that's a hard word to uh, think of apparently uh, especially with the Godfather but yeah he uh, gets on a boat to America and uh, yeah we see how all this came about, and also that, you know, Vito Antolini, you know, that was his name, that came to America, he's now Vito Corleone, Corleone, you know, whichever pronunciation you prefer, but he, that was, it's, it's also interesting as to how the immigration process was, he came here, got to like live in America and they take papers and they look up the Vito Antonini and Corleone so Vito Corleone and that's it was really interesting just to see how that worked in a film like this and uh, you know just seeing how Vito rises to power is also really cool and I like it and I loved it and I enjoyed it and Robert De Niro is incredible in the part um I know Marlon Brando was supposed to rep or their plan was he was going to reprise his role at the end of the film but because of compensation and not being compensated a lot on the previous film he had no interest in any part of uh, Godfather 2 so when you have James Caan uh Frank Vigoda and 
you know, everybody together again at the end of the first film, uh, or the end of the, this film, who are from the first film, come in, you know, the whole thing was, here comes Vito through the door, you know, celebrating his birthday, and, um, yeah, it's just, yeah, this, this film was an experience, and uh, seeing it for the first time, 13, it was awesome, it was cool. I really loved it. I I still enjoy it to this day. It, just my experience was really just just in awe of just everything from the storytelling and you know that's really all I want to say about this film. It's just, you know, so many have gone on talking about this movie, praising it, and I get it. But I'm like, you know, aside from the some of the stuff I've mentioned here, and I know there's a lot of things I didn't mention. But my interp my first real thoughts and experience was what an experience. Um, it's just incredible to watch uh, the story unfold of Corleone, particularly Michael Corleone's story. I find particularly interesting, and Vito's is also really, really good. Also, it's just very fantastic. Um, really interesting to see just how different of a dynamic between the father and son is um, and uh, yeah it's just it's so really cool to watch um, uh, again the performances are all great you know, Talia Shire her, her she has a bigger part in this film uh, than the previous movie not that she had a small part in part one but you know, she's given a bigger part, and um, she does a really good job. And how she interacts with Michael and Rado and everybody is just really good. And also, we get the passing of their mother. And um, when Fredo, you know, and Michael finds out what Fredo did because of a conversation, you know, he didn't know someone, and then, oh, he does know them. And he reveals that real flippant, and Michael is there, and he looks at his brother and puts the pieces together, and, and that sets up one of the things at the end, which plays a good deal in part three. Um, you know, Fredo betrayed him, and then at the end, he has Fredo killed. Basically, he's he's just he just becomes very cold and distant. He is just so yeah. He's he's just very different from the person we saw at the very beginning of part one. And we see a little bit of that at the end of the film with that little sort of a little epilogue thing at the end, the last scene uh, after Pearl Harbor's bomb. See James Conn and everyone. The argument about how, about people going over and fighting for country and because of being attacked and then uh, reveal Michael joined the Marines and dropped out of college, and that was a big shock to everybody. And also, Alfredo was the only one who said congratulations and shook his hand. And all. Though, of course, people were like, oh, Fredo's just trying to be nice, and he just doesn't want conflict and this and that, you know. And that, you know, very well is likely the case, but it's very interesting how when he says he joined the Marines and dropped out of college, he's going to fight in World War II, how prior we, we see Michael ordering uh, Fredo to be killed, and yet he was the f only person, you know, being genuine or just not wanting any big conflict to come out of it. He was like the only one really to 
uh, say congratulations in any way towards Michael when announcing he dropped out of college and joined the military to fight in World War Two. You know, that's that's an interesting thing to kind of leave the film on a note of where you know, here's <laughs> Fredo. He did this thing. This he said something. Don't know what he said or what he was getting in compensation for, but essentially uh, helped. Uh, it, not necessarily meaning to have an assassination attempt on his brother. And yeah. And how he eventually just dies at the end because of that. And then, yeah. It's interesting to think about how. But Fredo and all of this. And yeah, I just. It's really interesting, I think. Uh, just leave that on the note. Uh, of the, Have that kind of note to leave out on. You know, basically, and uh, and uh, other, you know, this this trilogy, a story, and characters are really fascinating, and I really enjoy these films. Obviously, um, I want to be talking about them as I am if I didn't like them, but they are really good. They're all fantastic, and um, yeah. What do you think of Godfather Two? I'm wrapping it up here. Uh, do you enjoy it? Do you not enjoy it? Do you like it better than the first film, or do you like it? Do you like the first film better, or maybe do you like part three better? Uh, there could be somebody who likes three the best. Uh, so, if you want to say what you think about this film or the previous film, welcome to do so in the comments. Um, yeah, but this was my own thoughts. Uh, my experience on my uh, watching this film, you know, I know this was very sporadic, and I apologize. But it's like there's so much that goes into this, but I don't want to spend so long talking about this movie because I could go on for a long time. Uh, not just this movie, but uh, part one, and I could also go on quite a bit about part two. Um, but, you know, and also Robert Duvall, Tom Hagen, is also like excellent. I know I didn't touch on him. Um, I mean, he is very important to this, uh, obviously. But, I mean, that, there's so many people who are incredible. Pacino, uh, Diane Keaton, Talia Shire, uh, Robert De Niro, again. You know, about uh, uh, Pacino, really, uh... Chino is just one of the best actors ever. I really love him in this part of these films. Um, so, yeah, I just, uh, yeah, with that, uh, I hope you all have a great day and a great weekend and a great week, and I'll see you all next time.